Kentucky is where we are, home of Bourbon, Racehorses, and Diecast Direct. Hey guys, David at Twice Diecast. Glad you joined me again today. We're back on the road, this time in the Bluegrass State. Kentucky is where we are, home of Bourbon, Racehorses, and Diecast Direct. Diecast Direct is a online vendor. They ship out all over the world. They're located in Frankfort, Kentucky. And as we pull in, I'll give you a little bit of a tease and then we'll get right to it. Okay guys, we just pulled into Diecast Direct, one of the biggest online diecast distributors that I know about. And uh, they have a showroom. So we're gonna check it out and see if it's worth a visit. Come on along. All right, I'm all about passing along information. So if you are watching this and you're gonna head there, go to the back door and ring the bell. They'll let you in the showroom. Don't waste a trip like I did to the front. Here's the hours, pause that if you need to take a look if it matches with your schedule. This is what you see when you walk in, guys. So the 90% of this building is gonna be the warehouse where they have all the stock. I think almost most uh, everything in the warehouse is probably represented out here in some sort of fashion or variation. Right when you walk into the right, you've got these farm die casts, a lot of them done by Ertl. I had recently looked at some of these on a hidden die cast episode, so I knew about what to expect on the prices, and they look to be pretty close to what Diecast Direct is charging in their showroom. It's not just farm stuff. It's, well, I'm not even going to go that down that road because anything you can think of is probably in this showroom. Different scales, different wild stuff like this. 37 Studebaker in 143rd scale comes with a casket. Tell me if you got that in your collection already. 143rd scale, a lot of 187 scale for you uh, model train enthusiasts or if you just like smaller die cast. They've got the bigger stuff too. You can see some of the green light in 124th and 118th scale. Lots and lots of green light. Obviously, they're one of the biggest die cast companies uh, being sold in the States. So die cast direct, of course, is going to have almost every one you can imagine. Here's a lot of their fire and police uh, lineup. You can just see just tons and tons of stuff. You'll notice in this video, if it is uh, anywhere close to August of 2022, you'll know that some of this stuff had just come out by the time it was being filmed and it's already in the shelves. Diecast Direct obviously gets all the new stuff. Check out this Chevrolet Cruze. I had no idea a Chevy Cruze was in Diecast in 164 scale. So as we get started, that's got my interest peaked. All the Johnny Lightning 007 stuff, can't get enough of that. I know you, a lot of you guys love that. How about that Alpine Sunbeam? Such a really cool little roadster. Black Bandits are next up. Those are gonna be scattered throughout. You'll see a lot of that. You'll see Hot Pursuit vehicles all over the place as well. And just every type of casting. So. We're gonna look at uh, a few specifics. I'm gonna give you a pretty good tour of everything in the showroom. One thing, uh, one thing I like, and I'll tell you right now as it occurs to me, they have a lot of the entertainment series stuff grouped together. And even better than that, they have a lot of the vehicles in different scales grouped together as well. How cool are these Pawn Stars cars, guys? A lot of late 70s, early 80s stuff. Uh, there's another one, a batch of those vehicles coming up you'll like too. Really digging these Thelma and Louise green lights. They are really uh, simple civilian cars, Caprice Classics, Thunderbirds, just really cool stuff. One of my all-time favorites, that Dodge Diplomat from Greatest American Hero. And here's an example of what I was talking about. You can see the Type 2 bus from Little Miss Sunshine in three different scales right there. And just a whole heap of entertainment series stuff. Really, really like this uh, Godfather Cadillac. 
And did you guys notice the price? $6.79? That's going to be cheaper than you're going to find in Hobby Lobby. Going to be right around the price you're going to find in Walmart. You're never going to find a better selection than here at Diecast Direct. Different makers mixed in with this Christine section right here. You can see Johnny Lightning, Auto World, and Green Light all right there, along with the other variations and scales. There was a weathered version. Don't know what this Tulsa Rama is. I assume that's some kind of TV show, maybe. I love that dirty Plymouth Belvedere, though. That's really cool. We all know A Team is going to have some killer cars in it. Let's take a look at what they've got. We've got a uh, really cool Monaco. I love this Plymouth Fury. We've got Faces Corvette coming up soon. That was always, you know, that's always the guy that we all wanted to be was Face driving that Corvette. Really cool stuff. Um, just going to keep on trucking. Can't beat a Pontiac Le Mans from Smokey and the Bandit 2. Lots of accessories were available as well. These aren't going to be the only ones, the ones that you're seeing there. And surprisingly, for you collectors of big trucks, I've got a treat in store for you coming up. Some of the best semis and tractor trailers in 164 scale I've ever seen in my life. These are a little bit bigger. Those are 143rd IXOs. Got some Kenworth dump trucks. Got some earth movers and all kind of stuff. Excavators. Neo Ray, we've seen, or New Ray, I believe. Uh, we've seen that on the channel before. That's some older die cast. Look at these rigs right here, guys. I don't collect these, but how awesome would it be to have this Joker sitting on your desk right there? England is maybe a transport company here in the States. Uh, look at that. Just absolutely perfect 164 scale. I want you to look at some of the details on this tractor right here. Look at those coils and electrical hookups. I believe that hooks up to the trailer to the tractor. Awesome, awesome cab with that one. Yeah, just super cool stuff. Even 187 scale uh, tractors are just ridiculous to think about all the detail you cram into that little thing. Keep moving around the store. We're going to hit the outside walls first. We've got a lot of storage uh, solutions for you guys. Auto World has these showcases. I love those crystal ones when I do customs. I try and send one of those acrylic cases. How about Neo scale models? You guys heard of that? These are true 164 scale. Rob at Scale Enthusiasm gave me a Neo scale model. It is one of the best vehicles in my entire collection. 90 bucks for a 164 scale. It better be, right? So that's uh, just a testament to how cool Rob is for giving me that. I was really, really impressed, guys, at how many different brands. And you're going to see stuff from Europe, stuff that I love. Never would have thought it was going to make its way into a warehouse in Kentucky. Really cool Matrix stuff, 143rd scale. Auto Cult, another name I think I might have heard of in the past, but I didn't realize just the super cool stuff they did. Look at that submarine and that other Zamac looking car. Even a Titanic if you need one of those for your collection. So we'll uh, kind of pan down through these hurdles. You can get those at Tractor Supply Company, believe it or not. Um, you can look for a hidden diecast episode with those, and you can track down those if you are, are interested in those. We've got some green light, 143rd Artisan Scale. These are their super high-end pieces that they've come out recently. That Firebird is amazing. Got a Barbie Cadillac, or excuse me, Bel Air on there. Got some open wheel racers. Not sure of the brand on those. I'm kind of watching this as I go through this as I'm talking. I've got my eye already gravitating toward that Caprice Classic. Look at that Joker. How awesome is that? I think either your parents had one of those or you rode in one if you were my age back in the day. That's 118th scale. A little big for my liking. Let's go around the corner. They've got a like a little section with some 10 signs. If you need anything like that to spruce up your collecting or diecast room, 
there's the prices on that they've got a table here to the side with stuff that is on sale a little bit of damage to it maybe I didn't see much damage um, but apparently it wasn't good enough to send out so reap the benefit of it find something you like in there this is the sale table for diecast direct if you're just joining us, we're looking at the showroom in Diecast Direct. That is an online vendor. And this location is in Frankfurt, Kentucky, kind of outside of Lexington. So I was on my way from Nashville, Tennessee up to Ohio and had always wanted to pop in here once I found out where it was. It's about five or six hours from me, so it wasn't worth a trip all by itself. In a second, we're going to get back out to the showroom, guys. Look at that really cool Ertl. That's such a awesome car. Buck, yeah, I should have picked that up. Anyway, we're going to get back to the shelves. Look at, uh, this is where I started getting surprised. we got Mini GTs. We've got new Mini GTs. There's the one with the pop-up headlights. New special edition, Fred's Garage. 18 bucks, you know, Mini GT, the best you're ever going to find online is about 15 bucks, but you have to play, excuse me, you have to pay shipping on top of that. So 18 bucks in person, uh, I'll gladly do that. The selection is just what gets you because, you know, you're just not going to find this selection anywhere else. You get Era, a lot of those, you, you can see those Kaido House. Dotson's in the background. Here's a limited edition holiday mini GT. There's that 510 market Dotson Man diecast. It's all over that thing. I know he loves those. They've got the new wagons that just came out, guys. I'm telling you, this is new stuff. If you're in the area, just go by. Go by on behalf of a friend and buy stuff for them and uh, have them pay you back because everybody can find something at diecast direct there's one of the new four gts got a golf bmw m series i believe maybe three series i'm i, I don't know my bmw monikers like i should there's a, the new launcher in the martini livery one of my favorite liveries of all time so just in this case we've had mini gt era uh, i think we might have another one snuck in there at some point these are the brands that normally you're going to have to buy online and pay lots of shipping. Just working our way through this section. Uh, we had some, I believe, a little bit more Ertl stuff here. Just wanted to make sure I get everything. You can see their sales takers in the background working. Here's a little bit more up close look at that 118th scale Caprice Classic. Look at the spindles on the wheels, the two-tone paint, the chrome around the windows. 118th scale is amazing if you got the room. So it's not just the oddball stuff uh, that I like, but it's also regular Hot Wheels premiums. You can find everything that's current that was there. I am loving all of these OK Cars series from Johnny Lightning. You have, like I mentioned, other accessories. We saw the lifts. We've got the wheel sets here. We've got uh, the diorama pieces. You're going to see a lot more of those American diorama figures if you want to make a total uh, diorama model for your collection. You got a lot of military stuff. You've got even some experimental aircraft. We're just going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on talking. What else have we got? A lot of M2. Every brand that uh, the collectors here in the States find at Walmart and Hobby Lobby, they've absolutely got that as well. Here's a bunch of the estate wagons. Such a cool set that came out a few years ago. So glad that they did those. Boy, wagons really have taken off in popularity, haven't they? All right, let's get back into it. We've got uh, some Meekum stuff. We've got just tons and tons of green light. Had to give a shout out to Tyrone and Fex Death and NZ and all you guys down under. That Ford Falcon was for you guys. How about some buses? 
Still hadn't found what you want? How about a travel trailer or a bus? Surely that'll tick the box for you guys that um, collect some of that oddball stuff. Oddball being a compliment, of course. Here's those diorama pieces. Give you an idea of the prices on these. 12 bucks for five to six, seven pieces. I don't know how, to be fair, I don't know if that's a good price or not. I don't collect any of that. What do we got here? We have more Hot Wheels Premiums. And I'm fairly certain that if you go on the Diecast Direct actual site, you will see tons more. Carl Rama makes an appearance. We've got 143rd scale beetles looking absolutely killer. Carl Rama is always impressive. Look at these Azetas. Those are BMWs. If you don't know those, super cool, tiny, tiny cars. Got that Mini Cooper collection. Saul sent me one of those. A lot of 143rd scale cars here. And forgive me, I can't remember the actual brand. Here is a Volkswagen Jetta that Chuck displayed on Diecast Breakdown. Five bucks, and that is a really good Jetta. Got some Kyosho, 20 bucks. Brand new stuff from Kyosho. Even some of them were $18. Got Para 64 in the background here. So, like I said, a little bit of everything for everybody. Didn't show all the Para 64s. They were in there in a weird, uh, they were pushed down. I couldn't really see what everything was. Coca-Cola fans, one-stop shop in this cabinet right here. You've got a ton of M2. You've got a table in the middle I suspected was going to be damaged cards or just overstock. I don't know what it was. Two bucks for a main line. You know, whatever. Not Nothing too noteworthy. Some old modern classics. Got a slide street there. $3.99 for that BMW. That's a steal. And just kind of a hodgepodge on this table. Who knows what that was supposed to be. All right, let's get back to it. We got green lights for days over here. Some really cool golf stuff. V-dub, club V-dub. You know, those are always going to be really cool. SD trucks on the bottom there. Super duty. And looks like we've got... A row of black bandit uh, the way they've got these in these cabinets it's hard to see but you can you can read the labels just lots and lots of black bandit stuff I didn't see uh, specifically any chase pieces set out to the side uh, I would imagine you could probably find some here's the California lowriders full set and they did sell well I don't I guess that's not the full set but they did sell some of these by the full set Let's look at some auto worlds. These are very current auto worlds mixed in with some truck and trailer sets. There's the CRA diecast Lincoln Mark V right beside it. And there you go, 48 bucks to get that whole set. Not too bad, five for 48. Well, maybe, I don't know, almost 10 bucks a car, but you aren't paying shipping, so. I don't know about that one. Uh, let's see, we, let's keep on moving. We got more Auto World stuff. You guys have probably already seen some old Auto World here. 12 bucks for that. Maybe worth it if you're having to hunt it down on eBay. Not sure, Johnny Lightning on top. Lots of Johnny Lightning coming up. Pretty cool golf pickup there. Uh, let's see what this Johnny Lightning set is. Got some blacked out, got some classic gold. You guys got to check out, uh, Chris Reed does Round 2 Corp, their monthly updates for all your Johnny Lightning, Auto World, and Racing Champions. So, this was a pleasant surprise to find some Sparky. You guys know about Sparky, they do a lot of race cars and they do them very, very well. They do 143rd scale as well. I believe they're under the Spark moniker at that scale. The only one I saw that was anywhere interesting to me was that golf Porsche uh, here's an example of the new stuff I'm talking about these are brand new from Johnny Lightning that gold RX 7s a new color here's the great outdoor set 
from Greenlight right beside more of the Hot Pursuit. He even saw some of those muscle machines in there. Guys, we're getting close. We're wrapping uh, it up not too long from now. Hope you have enjoyed uh, more green lights. Um, hope you've enjoyed this because this was such a treat for me to go. So you're looking at one of the biggest online distributors in the U.S. Look at this UPS checker. I've never seen that. How about that? And you have almost every example of a U.S. mail carrier vehicle. I love that old jeep the very first original one all right so what do we got here i think we got a tarmac works even making an appearance on today's video not the worst price ever 33 bucks for that golf porsche so you know it's not like they are selling surplus items they know what they're worth but they are still at or just under the market value. So if you're in town and you're in person, it's it's a great deal. Love that super, uh, I went back and looked at that polished BRE. All right, so this is your pan of the store, the showroom. Go check it out, Frankfort, Kentucky. Before we leave, I'm going to look at one more cabinet. It's got two old things I wanna show you. Uh, both of them are beat up well past their prime and in need of repairs but before we look at those we've got these oxfords i didn't realize oxford did all those american stuff in 187. look at that really cool stuff there's an awesome shuku all right let's look at this old tootsie toy this is what i'm talking about things that are old and beat up that tootsie toy and this guy right here in the camera hope you've enjoyed it this is david at twice diecast I will see you on the next one.